social media is an incredibly important tool. We've been working on creating a crowdsourced map of women's safety in the city. So we use social media all the time to reach out to communities, not just women, but also to build maps about public safety and take those to authorities and uh, and bridge the gap between police and the people they're supposed to be protecting. And uh, and that's why we're involved with social media. Hugely important tool for us. We're still waiting to see how it's going to move forward, and it's a really good question. Uh, there is a lot of noise on social media right now. Even around women's safety, a lot of people promoting campaigns and initiatives, uh, and, and that's important. But I also think that a lot of the users who are on social media today, particularly women, are already somewhat empowered. And a lot of the hard work for uh, empowering women through whatever form of media we choose is actually reaching out to audiences who are in smaller cities or who are in rural areas who don't have as much familiarity with technology and uh, improving the situation for them also. So I would say that that is like a, cr a key thing that we have to figure out in order to move forward and actually make it an inclusive movement. Work with the with the more flexible definition of social media. So, for example, in urban areas, we might be working with Facebook and Twitter, but for example, in more rural areas, we might end up working with uh, audio, uh, with SMS, etc. Uh, I think. This also depends to an extraordinary extent upon government policy and, uh, and that means how fast we can expand uh, access to information technology to some of these, these audiences. So if the internet can, and, and there's, every, uh, there's every evidence that more and more people are getting smartphones and they're picking up data plans and all that, so we are seeing an increase in that. So It could also, even, even in spite of, of government policy, it could be that we have a massive expansion of online. I haven't, uh, I mean, I, I marched in those protests. Um, I haven't actually uh, worked myself, I mean, I have worked with Whitehall and we're doing, uh, you know, what we're part of is essentially very much inspired by that incident because, uh, because again, we're trying to we're trying to map where women feel unsafe in cities. Uh, so to that extent, yes. Um, but in terms of forwarding messages to my female friends um, about these initiatives, yes. Otherwise, no. It was a great session, and uh, and I was in the the women's empowerment session, and I thought it was really interesting. A lot of different experiences, and hopefully, uh, what will happen is that this summit will allow people to come together, share ideas with people whose work and interests are similar to theirs, and actually institute like grassroots reforms movements that will empower and improve the lives of others uh, and we'll see that happen so that would be the goal